What about, there's also these international lotteries where people can enroll, and, and actually we have a video clip that I'd like to show you and our viewers, and then we'll come back and comment on that. Say yes, they will keep calling you. It must have been 10 years ago, and I got a call from a man with a heavy accent from Canada. And he said, George, you won a lot of money. If you will go over to the Western Union and send me $900, I'll get your check delivered to you by such and such a deliveryman tomorrow before 4 o'clock. And I was quite gullible. And I took my $900 over there and gave it to Western Union, and they sent it to Canada. Then I came home and waited on Friday afternoon from 4 until 4.30 or 5, and I finally realized I had been duped. And I've sent them money one time, that's all it took. And they sell the list to other people, and you find out that you're getting all sorts of calls at all sorts of hours, and they continue calling me back and why, I can't tell you. Well, are there any such things as international lotteries that a George, like on that video, could exactly. ever properly um, you know, be a part of? Not that I've heard of. Most of the international lotteries I've heard of all turn out to be this type of scam. They want your money. They're not going to give you any of theirs. Hmm. Now, there's a government loan scam, too. Every time you're our, um you're either online or you're out there trying to find a loan. You know, we're in hard times now. People need uh, loans to actually stay afloat these days. So uh, one of the scams is out there, hey, you're looking for $25,000. We'll be able to loan you that $25,000. So if you send me $2,000, as soon as we process that loan, we will turn around and send you that $25,000 that you need. And do you ever see the $25,000? No, you don't. You'll never see your $2,000 ever again. What about secret shoppers? Secret shoppers are, it's almost like a, a chance at a job. You know, you can make a little bit of money by filling out a survey or going into a store. You know, they say you want to, they want you to evaluate a store or something along that lines. And on, all of a sudden you get a check in the mail to pay for your services. And it'll be a check for maybe double or triple of what you were actually supposed to get. And the person on the other end of the phone will go, oh my gosh, we had a clerical error. You weren't supposed to get all that money. Tell you what cash that check, keep what's yours, and just send the rest back to me. Sounds, sounds like a fair deal, isn't that it? It does sound like a fair deal, but <clears throat> that check isn't real. And sometimes by the time the bank figures out that check is a counterfeit check, a forged check, there's not an account out there, you've already sent that extra money or that money that you should have received to that person. And so you were not only out with the money you were supposed to receive, but the money you sent out of your personal hmm. account. With all these telemarketer scams that these con artists try to foil people with, what are some good tips? We've got a couple of minutes. What are some good tips that seniors and older adults can use? On any type of scam, my, my, my first thing, if it seems too good to be true, it is. And nothing is free. Uh, I know we're all used to lotteries, every, you know, you, but you buy a lottery ticket. Mm -hmm. You don't just, you know, if you haven't enrolled in an international lottery, how could you possibly be a winner? Um, if you have any doubt that that's your grandchild on the other end of the phone, call their home. Because most of the time they're asleep, in bed, safe at home. You know, do a little due diligence on your side. Check caller ID. You know, where are they calling from? people always have the option of using that secret word of no, right? Exactly. I, like I said, just, just say no. Do your due diligence. Do, you know, like I said, if it doesn't sound right, it's not. And if they actually then turn it around and say, I'm with the jury service of a certain city or a certain county, say, I'll tell you what, give me a few minutes, let me look for my jury, so, you know, that I was a uh, ballot or something I was supposed to be sent. I'll call you right back at the number on that, or I will look it up in the directory, and then I'll call that number and do, and do it correctly, not somebody calling me. Terrific. Great tips.